In this video we will continue the series of Python microservices and uh, this time we will add cron jobs to synchronize the data between the two microservices. So in the previous video we had an HTTP request that had a 10% chance of failure. In this video we will add a cron job that will synchronize the missing information between these microservices. So let's see how to do it. So I open the projects, this is a POS microservice and this is a comments microservice and uh, this is a frontend app running. So uh, we need to add some comments here and uh, what I will do is I will change this 9 here to a 5 so I will have a 50% chance of the comment uh, not uh, being sent to the other microservice so let the uh, let's try inserting some comments so I inserted the four multiple times there and if I refresh we can see only four of them are inserted so uh, this was uh, the test case now we will see that uh, in our comments microservice uh, we'll have here 10 comments but in our post microservice we will have uh, four comments there so core post here and the comments are in the json there are four of them so how do we synchronize uh, the comments from the post microservice to the comments microservice we will do the synchronization using a cron job so i will install this package Django cron tab and this package will help us run cron jobs. So first we need to install it and uh, I will install it in the post microservice. So I will run the command pip install Django cron tab. So this will install it in my machine. And now that uh, I have installed it, uh, we need to add this uh, string in the installed apps so let's go to settings and uh, here we need uh, to add uh, I will add it after course headers Django cron tab we added that package this is a cron job uh, I will add a function for this so in the core I will create a python file I will call it cron.py and here I will create a function I will call it uh, uh, sync comments let's pass for the moment so this is a column here and uh, I added this uh, function now in order to add the cron job we have to add this constant in the settings.py I'll scroll in the end and I'll add it here cron jobs and this is a command uh, for the cron job and uh, this is a path to the cron job so uh, the path to our cron job is core cron so this is correct and uh, the name of the function is sync comments and uh, for the cron job itself uh, we need uh, to put here the cron command so if you are confused about this there are some um, ways that we can check uh, online so I will write cron tab every minute for example and we have cron tab guru and every minute is uh, all stars so this is uh, the cron tab in every minute and uh, we can here make some changes minute hour day or anything else and uh, this uh, page will uh, give uh, will give us the command for cron tab and uh, this is what we want every minute we want to run this command and uh, that's it we will uh, see later how to run this command via the terminal for the moment let's complete the sync comments function so what uh, we will add in this function the first thing is uh, that uh, we have to make a connection to the comments microservice because we want to synchronize them and we want to synchronize them via 
HTTP request, so we will connect uh, directly with the database. To have uh, multiple connections, I will go to the comments uh, settings here and uh, I will copy the database connection for the comments microservice and uh, we need to add that in uh, the databases here also. Just uh, that uh, the name should be, I will call it comments db. Let's make it uh, all capitalized or it doesn't matter, so comments db. And uh, this is a connection to the other database. Now in our function sync comments we want to connect to the other database in order to get uh, the comments. So I will create another function for this. So def get comments and uh, in order to get the comments we have to perform a row SQL query because uh, usually Django performs uh, SQL queries uh, using uh, the models but since uh, we don't have the comments model we have to use row SQL query and uh, the way to do it is like this with connections and we have to import the connections Did I import it directly here so yes from Django DB import connections cursor as cursor so we have to use the cursor but uh, we have to make the change that uh, we want to use here the comments db In if we do it like this this will make a raw sql query to the post microservice database if we add the comments db here which uh, we added it on settings this is a database here we will query the other database and uh, now we will simply execute so cursor execute a simple query here select all from comments so uh, we will execute a simple query and um, the way that uh, this uh, returns the value is not something that uh, we want to return so I will do some uh, logic here in order to convert the results to appear just like uh, we uh, work here with the comments so I want to return it like this and uh, let's go back to the cron here first let's uh, return a cursor fetch all so first let's see what is the response that we want to change and uh, the way to test this is uh, we need to add another endpoint but uh, uh, to be fast I will return it here directly so in the post API view just uh, for testing purposes I will return a response of get comments and of course we need to import it uh, just for testing purposes and uh, we need to send uh, to localhost port 8000 api slash posts and the uh, table comments microservice comments does not exist so let's go back So I guess uh, this is not the right table name. So let's go to the comments microservice and this is core underscore comment. So core underscore comment. Save it. And uh, this is the actual response and uh, it's a weird response. So uh, this is uh, the index, I guess. And uh, this is the actual comment, which is one, 12, one two three etc so in order to format this uh, we have to uh, get first the columns which are equal to I'll create an array here and for 
each column inside the cursor description I want to return the first value there so call zero so these are the columns and in order to return uh, the response that we want I will return here an array I will cut this and uh, for a row in cursor fetch all we will convert them to a dictionary and uh, I will add here zip columns this variable that we just created and here we need the row so this is what we want so it looks complicated but uh, this is a way that uh, this can be returned like uh, an array of objects with id post id and text so this is what we want and uh, now we got the comments here we want to use these comments to the sync comments function and here uh, we want to update a post if uh, the comments are not uh, in the same length so let's do it I will get the comments here are equal to get comments so I did it in a separate function because uh, here is using the with function and uh, it does some complications here and here is pretty easy we just get the comments there and uh, we will get the posts which is equal to post let's import it from the models objects all and now I will loop the posts for each post in posts what do we want to do first we will get the comments that uh, this post has so I'll call the variable post comments this is equal to json loads load s the post with the comments don't forget also to import json on top here and we got the comments from this post then from all the comments so these are all the comments we want the comments from this post ID and uh, I will create another variable I will call it filtered uh, comments and uh, here we need uh, to filter uh, for C in comments and uh, we need to add an if condition if C post underscore ID is equal to this post ID so we want to get all the comments that uh, this post ID matches and the actual value we can put here the comment but uh, since uh, in our database uh, we store it uh, like this just the text we don't need the other values like uh, the ID and the post ID the value here will be a JSON with uh, text sc text like this so these are the filtered comments we will get all the comments with this post id and we will get it as a list of uh, this uh, object now let's make the if condition if the length of post comments is less than the length of filtered comments if we go here it means uh, that uh, our comments in our post uh, are not matching the comments that are in the comments microservice so this is the case that we have to synchronize them and the post comments is equal to json dump string to the filtered comments like this and in the end we will save the post and uh, that's it so we will get the comments we'll get all the posts we will loop them uh, we will get uh, the post comments the filtered comments are the comments that are uh, in the comments uh, microservice uh, only for this post id and if they don't match we will simply update the comments and we will save it so that's it this is our cron function 
and in order to uh, run this function every minute we have uh, these commands here which uh, I will run it now so I will open uh, the terminal and run python manage.py cron tab add if I add this uh, I will also allow my machine to add this cron tab and we will see adding cron job and this is a cron job that uh, we wanted and uh, that should be it now let's go back here and uh, I will change it back to getting all the posts and uh, we saw that the post had uh, only a few comments now it has all of them so if I refresh it does have all of them so we can see it's already working let me update it again directly in the database now this will have uh, no comments I will wait uh, a minute and uh, let's see if uh, we will get the comments again so I waited one minute and now I will refresh it and we can see all the comments are appearing here so the cron job is running fine and uh, this is how in some cases we need to run cron jobs in order to synchronize data between microservices if we want to remove this cron job simply run this command remove and uh, we will remove this cron job and uh, the data won't be synchronized anymore so that's it this is how we add cron jobs in django don't forget to like share and subscribe this video thank you